the essence of this teaching is not doing but being there are certain teachings that emphasize and focus on developing your ability to do and th there is a place for that but the essence of this teaching is to, rea to realize the depths of your being, to go into the being dimension, because there are these two dimensions. Every human being embodies the human level, which involves doing and thinking and experiencing and acquiring and gaining and so on. And every human being also embodies the deeper dimension of being, then that's why you are a human being. I emphasize the importance, the primary importance of getting in touch with the being of you, which is inseparable from the big being of the entire universe, get in touch with the being, realize the being, and that is primary and that is the foundation for everything. But there still remains the human dimension. So on the human dimension, you feel you still want to be active, you want to achieve something. As a human, you have this, uh, most humans have a desire to contribute something, to create something, to do something, uh, to participate in the uh, infinite creativeness of the universe, to become a part of that. So you have that, and that is not to be denied. It's just that in this teaching, it focuses on the, the very foundation, which is primary. Without the being, no matter what you achieve on the human, it will not satisfy you, and ultimately it will create further difficulties for yourself and others in the absence of conscious being. So conscious being is primary. Once you realize conscious being, from there you can look on uh, how to um, align your doing with being. And then you can practice what is conventionally called manifestation techniques and you can create from the depths of your being so if you discover within yourself that a lot of the time you are in a state of lack, of insufficiency, of not enough, and you feel that the answer to the remedy is to be active in this world and achieve and do as much as possible, then you'll probably find that ultimately that is not the answer to your state of lack, because your state of lack although you will experience temporary relief occasionally through doing and experiencing, it will not go away through just doing. In order to uh, transcend, to go beyond your state of lack, of neediness, of not enough, uh, spiritual practice and spiritual realization is necessary. And that is not uh, any doing as such that is focus on the realization of being. It's only there that you can go beyond that state of lack, which is ego. So you have you have to find your, your true identity. Who am I? Who are you? Are you the historical person? And are you the that entity, that me with a, a past and a future? And, and then comes the end. Are you that, or is there more to you than meets the eye? Is there more to you than your physical body and the thoughts that go through your head and the emotions that you feel? Is there more to you than that? Is there more to you than the story of you from your life, your past, your life? Is that your identity, or is there a deeper dimension? It is only if you find the deeper dimension to who you are that is beyond ego that you can become free of that state of lack and neediness. And it's only then when you've become free of that state of lack and neediness then your, your doing can be fruitful. 
because because you're no it is no longer a self-serving doing until that realization happens ultimately all you're doing is self-serving even if you even if you are uh, um, even if it's altruistic and you f you have you're full of compassion for the world and you just want to help everybody and everybody ultimately if you look deeply it's this self-serving there you want to be better in your eyes you're not good enough yet in your own eyes and it may well be and it's not it is more than likely that a lot of your doing will have unwanted side effects that produce the opposite of the original intention. So don't look for freedom from the sense of lack in the realm of doing and of activity. Go within and discover who or what you are beyond the person. And that is a spiritual dimension within you. That's the being and that's what this work and this teaching is all about. Only, only there can you be free of the sense of lack. And once you're free of that, then you can engage in joyful creativity, joyful creation, joyful manifestation. Enjoy every moment of it. And, and not feeling that unless you reach the desired outcome, you continue to be incomplete and you're not really enjoying the journey because you're so focused on the desired outcome that uh, you can't enjoy the journey because the destination has taken uh, precedence over the over the journey so the you're obsessed with where you want to get in when you get there you won't be satisfied you, for a moment you say yeah I made it but the mind pattern in you that devalues the present moment and cannot honor the presence, the aliveness of the present moment is still in you. And no matter where you go and who, who you're with or what you achieve, you carry with you this mind pattern that makes it impossible for you to be aligned with the, with the present moment. So you carry with you the, the sense of lack and you would still suffer from it when you become a billionaire. And so the way then is to go within and engage in this spiritual practice and, and spiritual realization. There's no other way.